Hey, what's up guys? This is Proto Dead and I'm back with another long play. Today we're playing Spec Ops The Line. This will be uh, about a six episode series from beginning to end. So this is a third person shooter. It's kind of a mind fuck. This is episode three. It's got a lot of alkylades, so sit back and relax and check it out. I turned the digital vibrance up on this one. I probably turned it up a little bit too much. You'll notice that it's pretty pretty damn vibrant with all the uh, sunset colors and stuff. This game is a very, very cinematic experience, and it tells the story of a... Uh, a very sensitive situation, a crisis situation in Dubai after a major sandstorm. And our quote-unquote hero here suffers through a lot of traumas and problems and, and causes a lot of uh, havoc and stuff, and it affects his psyche. And by the end of the game, you're very, very much questioning what was real and what was a hallucination built within his mind. Um, I think some of the stuff in the game is cliche. I'll, I'll say that, yeah, maybe when it came out in 2012, it was a little bit more groundbreaking for, for video games at the time you'll you'll see what I mean it's got some fantastic imagery throughout the whole game I mean cinematic level for video game stuff especially when it came out 2012 um, really really good stuff art art direction soup superb absolutely I particularly like the graffiti that you see throughout the city I think that's uh, some beautiful stuff all right, just to uh, just to recap a little bit, a long play is displaying the gameplay as it exists, as you uh, as you experience it for the normal gamer. No fancy editing, no big cutting stuff out, or trying to uh, enhance the the video at all with memes and jokes and fancy editing and stuff. This is just a long play. We're shooting for one hour chunk uploads here so each one of these episodes should be about an hour, um, giving you the exact gameplay experience you should expect to see if you were playing the game yourself. Um, I do understand that some of the cinematics come out pretty grainy and pixelated. That's unfortunately the limitations of, I, of, I guess, uh, upscaling of the resolution from 2012. I guess they, they it was built for 720p, came out in the era of PlayStation 3 and stuff, so some of the player models is a little bit simple, but whenever you come, when it comes to the cinematics um, that are outside of the in-game engine, you'll see what I mean. It's, it comes out very pixelated, and that was, that was the way it was whenever I played the game. So this is a long play. Sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. Tell me what you think about the game. Leave me a comment down below. Like it if you liked my video here, or dislike it if you disliked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and share my video. It helps me out a lot. It's free for you. It's great for me. I've been Proto Dead, and I'll catch you on the flip flop. He's fucking dead. Now what are we gonna do? What the hell is that? A map. I think this was Gould's op plan. Must be the gate they were talking about. So what? Gould thought it was worth dying for, Lugo. I'd say that's a pretty big so what. Right, let's get moving. We should do something with the body. It's no time, Lugo. Zone's still hot. Are you kidding me? Gould's death is our fault. It was his own damn fault. Actually, it's yours for not letting me take that shot. He'd let a suicide mission. They call him that for a reason. What, I die out here, you're gonna leave me in the dirt too? If you keep pissing me off, how about I shoot you both if you don't shut the fuck up? Now let's go.
This is just fucked. What are you talking about? People died back there. Not just soldiers and civilians, but Gould. Our best chance of getting out of this hellhole. Calm down, Lugo. There's nothing we could have done. Don't tell me to calm down. We got no idea what the fuck we're doing here. Yeah, you're right. Putting your faith in Gould, you are fucking clueless. Man, I'm through with this shit. Fuck you! At least I'm doing my job! You're the one who's fine, just sitting back, waiting for things to unfuck themselves! <laughs> you think I like watching these people die? Huh? You think I won't carry this into my fucking grave? Stand down! Huh? Both of you! Stand the fuck down! The fuck is wrong with you two? We're in the middle of a fucking war zone, and you're fighting in the dirt like a couple of goddamn kids! You are Delta operators. Fucking act like it! All right, then. We good? Yeah. Lugo! Yes, sir. Good. Now let's keep moving. So where we at? According to Ghoul's map, Gates dead ahead. All you boys and brown out there in Radio Land, I'm happy to report that Agent Gould has left the building. Okay. Next up on our Gotta re up. Agent Briggs, followed by Captain Walker and the fabulous D Boys. So stay tuned, stay alert, and stay hydrated. Radio Man out. I'd say that's the gate. Adams, take care of the lookout. I'm on it. Sweet dreams, bitch. All right, Lugo, who are we up against? An army? Give or take? No shit. How are we getting through this? This might help. Fine, set it up. You're fucking kidding, right? That's white phosphorus. Yeah, I know what it is. You've seen what this shit does. You know we, we can't might not have a choice, Lugo. There's always a choice. No. There's really not. You ain't Walker. We'll fire. Okay, prepare to fire. That in order? Yeah, it is. Fine. Launching camera. Camera online, sir. Okay, targeting online. You ready? Whenever you are. We need to hit those RPGs! Prepping mortar. RPGs neutralized. Prepping mortar. Strikers! Over. He's right, Walker. Okay. We're done. Let's get down there. 
Want to reach that gate before reinforcements arrive. Nothing we can do. You brought this on yourself. We were helping. What? Oh no. Are those... civilians? Where'd they come from? There's no camp here. They took them from the nest. That hotel back at the Stormwall? No, 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 those can't be the civvies that got kidnapped. It's not possible. Yeah, it is. That's why Gould stormed this place. He didn't want the gate. He was trying to rescue his people. This is your fault, goddammit! Stop right there, Hugo. What it is, you wouldn't wish to have a choice! He turned us into fucking killers! And I'm fucking no! No! Don't you no! We need to keep moving. What? Reinforcements will be here any second. We need to keep moving. But Walker, you're not, you're not even... I'm gonna make these bastards pay for what they've done. Now, are you with me or not? Walker, we got one out in the open! 
Stay down! <laughs> Throw and stun grenade! Reloading! On the move! Watch it! Get moving! Heads up! Get them moving out of cover! Got another one! They're falling back! Don't let up! They're headed inside! Stay on them! They got nowhere to run! Finish it! something here that'll clue us into what's going on. Maps, supplies, ammo. Looks like a normal outpost to me. No. There's gotta be more upstairs. Alright, check your mags. No idea what we'll find up here. Can't be worse than what we left outside. Hey, careful. Gotta Lugo. reload. No. No, he's right. There's nothing good about what happened out there, Lugo. But our hand was forced, and I know by who.
Now get ready. What the hell? Phosphorus. I swear if I never see this shit again, it'll be too soon. Look at this. Tags. Who's? Conrad's command team. I knew these men. Listen. No better than I did. I promise you that. He knows we're here. I could not inspire them. They let a mutiny. Foolish in a place like this. I don't blame them. They did what they thought necessary. But if order was to be maintained, an example had to be made. Colonel. I'm Captain Walker. Captain... Walker. Yes, I remember you. Kabul, I think it was. You performed admirably under the circumstances. Colonel, please. I, don't know if I told you that. What's going on here? Survival, Captain. Plain and simple. Everything is teetering on the edge of everything. But this you already know. The rest you'll have to see for yourself. Welcome to Dubai, gentlemen. Now, step outside, Captain. What's going on, Walker? We were wrong. Radio Man ain't running Dubai. He's just a lackey. You mean? It's Conrad. He did it. All of it. Okay. So what do we do? We play along. For now. that one girl, the girl whose face you cut out of old photographs? Well, to Conrad, America was that girl. Fifty stars, fifty states, the whole Union, blacked out. Don't know why he did it. Maybe it was out of anger or a misguided attempt to create a symbol. Whatever the sentiment, his command team clearly disagreed. Jeff Bowles, Ken Tebby, David Long. They stood up to their commander, their friend. And in return, he tied them hand and foot and burnt them alive. Makes you wonder what he'd do to someone he hated. I thought you said you knew him. thought I did. That's a bold statement. You claim you knew me. When I served under him in Kabul, he was an honorable man. Because I saved your life? I've saved many lives, Captain. I've ended even more. Understand any of this. Don't worry. You will. We got snipers. Tell your men not to worry, Captain. The snipers aren't for you. What the fuck is this? This is Dubai, Captain. This is what I face every day. My duty is to maintain order. Without it, we would have died long ago. This is a test. Yes, it is. The civilian on the right stole water. The capital defense. The soldier on the left was sent to apprehend him, which he did. Killing the man's family in the process. Five innocent people are dead because these two animals couldn't control themselves. 
I get it. We're meant to choose. Choose what? Let's get out of here. Lugo's right. We need to get as far away from this as possible. That's enough. Obviously not, because we're still here. They are guilty. But what is justice? And how would you see it dealt? This is an order, Captain. Who lives, who dies. Judge these men. Or pay the price of insubordination. We can't do this, Walker. Yeah, let's just get out of here. And go where? They have us surrounded. Stop stalling, Captain. So you do remember the chain of command. Good. Not the two side of me, but you acted. That is commendable. Well, I think you'd fit in perfectly here, Captain. Another life, perhaps. I appreciate your service, Captain. You're dismissed. Let's get the hell out of here. God damn it, Walker. Is there something on your mind, Lieutenant? Yeah! What the fuck are you doing? Hey, I don't like it any more than you, but they had us surrounded. We don't do this shit. Look, I did what was necessary. I kept us alive. Now, I don't want to hear another word about it. You got that? Yeah.
this. This war is over. Dubai will be evacuated. And you will be relieved of your command. The coast is clear, Walker. Then gear up. We're moving out. Where to now? Before the storms hit, Conrad needed a lookout. Somewhere he could see Dubai from miles around. There. Tallest tower in Dubai. That's where to. Walker, we need to talk about what happened back there. We got Conrad's attention. What's there to talk about? Never seen you like this before. I'm fine, Adams. We can't walk away from what we've seen here. We're not leaving Dubai until the survivors can be safely evacuated. I just need you to trust me on this. I trust you, Walker. I just don't agree with you. On a tip, we went to check the foreign relief stations in the middle of the city. Found bodies. Nothing new. So these had been shot. Burned. Along with the bodies, passports. Only one was readable. Zoe Strasberg, age 29. German aid worker. They say a paranoid is just someone with all the facts. Well, <laughs> I don't have all the facts, but I'm officially fucking scared. I don't want to believe city officials are executing foreign aid workers. Or what that might mean for the evacuation. But the facts, man, you can't ignore the facts. <sighs> I need to find the colonel. Fast, without raising suspicion. If I can get a message on the wire, maybe something's going to be done here, but if not, God help Dubai. Captain Walker. Jeff Riggs. Now get in here before a sniper blows your goddamn head off. You're welcome. Excuse me? Maybe you didn't notice, but we just saved your ass. Kid's got a mouth, Captain. Name's Sergeant Lugo, and he's got a point. Really? So where's Agent Gould? He, uh, he didn't make it. Guess you can't save everyone, huh? I'd say you fellas owe me one. <laughs> 
typical company bullshit. You want to hear me out before shooting me down, son? You got a plan beyond killing everyone you see? Of course we got a plan. Go on, Agent. What's your up? About 400 yards from here is the city's main water facility. We were en route when we got pinned down. My op, Captain, is to get that damn water and cripple the whole damn 33rd. You really think water's the key? We're in the desert, kid. Water's the key to everything. Shit. Frag up! Take cover! I can't see! Just stay down! I got visual. Is it rich? No, it's Delta! Where's the old man? Right here. You son of a bitch! You're dead! Come on, you're slowing me down. Here they come, boys. Psychoanalysis indicates that John Conrad may be suffering from early-stage post-traumatic stress disorder, resulting from failed operations in the Afghan conflict. In an individual as accomplished as Conrad, PTSD could manifest as a pronounced tendency towards egomania and calcification of moral certitude. More concerning is the way in which Conrad has been lauded as the greatest military leader since Patton. Conrad has internalized these sentiments, and they may now constitute a crucial component of his psyche. It is believed that as Conrad comes under fire for failures in Afghanistan, he will likely go to extreme lengths to internally fortify belief in his reputation. Conrad will begin looking outward to explain his failures while nursing a growing paranoia toward his superiors. It is unknown how Conrad's declining mental faculties will hold up in the face of another public failure. Open fire! You three tango us down! We got him in now! Sounds like a plan. Barricade the door. They'll give us time to escape. On your feet, soldier! Under heavy fire! We got one in the open! Got one! Reloading! Keep him off me! Yeah, you do. Keep distracted for me. I'm on my way. Riggs, where the hell are you? Up here, saving your ass. You're welcome. Got him! Heads off! Enemy moving! <laughs> Take orders from you, company man. Easy, You know the CIA didn't stop this war. Arming the locals probably didn't hurt. These people were ready to rise up. We just gave them the tools. Tools to get him killed. Just keep telling yourself that, kid.
Watch it now. We got company. There it is, boys. The Dubai Aquatic Coliseum. By my estimation, there are nearly 45,000 gallons of H2O inside them walls. This is the heart of Dubai. Yeah, we'll cut off the heart and the beast will die. Now you're catching on. My men are running interference near the front gate. They'll keep the 33rd turned the other way while we sneak in the back. Losing the locals at decoys? They understand the meaning of sacrifice. What's the plan, Riggs? Hold him off. I'll get the door open. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Forget him. We got bigger problems. They're coming up behind us! Get the cover! Cover me! I'm reloading! Hey! Enemy in the open! Take him down! Got the fucker! Let's hear it. Report in. What do we got? Four targets. Upper level. Flash and clear. Move. Here they come! There's a parking garage bottom of the Behind stairs. Behind you! Something ain't right. 
What is it? You're not alone. Hold up. Something ain't right. What is it? You're not alone. We've been made! Open fire! We've got contact! Holy fuck! Take cover! Got another one! Gotta reload! Alright, thanks for stopping by and watching another video. Appreciate you making it all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. Uh, leave, uh, leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment down below expressing any other feelings that you might have. I have been Proto-Dead, and I will see you in the future.